I just finished this hanging towel so I thought I'd do a quick video because a lot of people when I post them will ask me how I make them and I don't use a pattern I just kind of go with it so it's they never the same and I do them different every time I do them but I tried to pay attention to how I made this so that I could share with you guys um, I used home premium home cotton which is nice and soft it's got a lot of movement to it versus the thicker cottons that we see and I used a J hook <clears throat> and for the pattern I used a single crochet half double crochet across each row so um, alternating those two stitches just to give it a little bit of texture I made about a chain of 35 to start <clears throat> so it's 35 chains long and it really doesn't matter how long you make these whatever you like and and how long they are how tall they are whatever it doesn't even matter so just wing it go with it and do what looks right to your eye but I did 35 and then I just worked it up each row going back and forth single crochet half double crochet until I got to probably about here when I see it starting to get tall enough that I'm liking the length of the height of my towel that's when I've got to start bringing it in and, and decreasing some rows to get it to narrow in. So I do a single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, two together, half double crochet, single crochet, two together. And then I just keep decreasing all the way across on my single crochets. And, that, and then on the next row, just do a regular row, half to, single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, half double crochet, and that'll create less gaps. If you decrease on every single row, you're gonna get more holes. So I find if I alternate my decrease rows, um, you don't get so many holes in your in your um, finished product. And then I just decrease, decrease the next row again. I do a single crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, decrease, half double crochet, single cro crochet, decrease, and I continued that across. And then another row of just a regular row with half single crochet, half double crochet. And I keep doing that, alternating my decrease rows until I get to, I like the number seven when I get to the number, when the seven stitches are crossed. That's my magic number. So I try to make seven because I just like the way um, I finish it off with seven. So if you have eight, just decrease one more time and, and make it seven. That's what I do. And then I just, I make this long strap as long as I need it. So it's just gonna be those seven stitches. Keep doing rows, single crochet, half double crochet across, and just make them and keep making those rows until when you fold this strap over, it's where you need it to be. So it'll hang on your stove or wherever you wanna hang it. So as you can see, I've got a button here. Um, so I make it so it'll, the button, if I put the button on right about there, it's going to fold over long enough to do that. <clears throat> when I get to that point, then I've got to make a buttonhole. So I do a single crochet, I do half double crochet, two together, and then I chain two, skip one, and then I half double crochet, two together, and single crochet. That's my seven stitches. Now when I chain two, that's because of the size of my button. I want to, I want to have my hole big enough to fit my button through tightly. I don't want it to be too loose so this will fall off when it's hanging. So if you have a smaller button, only do a, um, a chain one for your buttonhole. Skip a stitch, but only do a chain one. If you have a bigger button, you could just, you, you could do three chains over that hole. And I don't know if you know what I'm talking about when I'm doing this, so I'm gonna um, undo this and show you. So it's only skipping one stitch, but it's chaining two above it. So if you wanted a bigger button, just chain three above it. If you want a smaller button, chain one above it. But you're only gonna skip one stitch. So I've got a single crochet, half double crochet, two together, and then I do half double crochet, two, I, I'm sorry, I do one, um, sing, one stitch in the middle of that hole, and then I do half double crochet, two together, and a single crochet on the end. And then I'm finished with my top. And then I turn it one last time, and then I do a single crochet, um, two single crochets in the corner, and then I single crochet all the way around. So I do two single crochets in the corner of each of those. When I get down to the bottom, I do two single crochets in the corner, and it's so, 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 so simple. Nothing to it. These are so easy. There's no right or wrong way. There's no right length or wrong length. Just go by your eye if it looks long enough. 
um, and it looks like the right size for you, then you're, you're good. You don't have to count stitches. You don't have to measure. It's just very, very simple. And you can use any stitch to make this. So if you like have a, a special stick, stitch that you like to use, you can just do that stitch instead of the one that I used. But anyway, this is red. My camera does not pay, take a good picture of red. It looks orange, but it's a real red, red, red. <clears throat> but my camera doesn't show that up. But anyway, that's it. It hangs up from your stove right over the bar and you've got a little towel to use all right i hope you guys understood what i was talking about there have a good day